Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about the deep muscles and the fascia of the thorax. So first let's talk about the deep muscle of the thorax. And deep muscle of the thorax are found right underneath the superficial muscles of the thorax, which is the uh, musculus pectoralis major and musculus pectoralis minor and so abdominal muscles. So when you remove them, you will find some muscles that are found in between each rib. So right about here in between each rib and also on the po on the posterior side next to the vertebrae right so the first muscle i want to talk about is the external intercostal muscle and this muscle is highlighted for you right here and, and if you notice the eye that means that this muscle is an inspiration muscle so the eyes stands for inspiration inspiration right so if you hold your chest and breathe in, your chest goes upwards, right? It goes upwards. So these, these muscle fibers are going to support the inspiration. That means when they contract, they have to go upwards, these muscle fibers. So how do they originate and insert? They originate actually from the inferior border of the upper rib and insert at the superior border of the inferior rib, right? Same goes here, origin, insertion, origin, insertion, right? They When they contract, they pull the chest upwards by going this direction. So the next muscle is the uh, internal intercostal muscle, which is found right underneath the external intercostal muscle. And these muscles are E, it says E for expiration, Inspiration. So how does your chest go when you ex when you when you breathe out? It goes down, right? So these muscles are gonna originate and insert opposite to the external intercostal muscle. They they originate from the in from the uh, superior border of the inferior uh, rib and insert at the inferior border of the superior rib. So they go like this this direction. That's how they go in all the ribs, right? So they support expiration. So the next muscle now is also an expiration muscle. It's going to be the subcostal muscle found on the inferior border or the inferior border of the of your ribs, uh, like posteriorly next to the the uh, angle, the coastal angles. Uh, they also are they are also expiration muscles. So they support the expiration, pulling your chest down. So how are they going to originate? They originate from the inferior rib again, originate, originate, inferior rib, and insert at the superior ribs. So these muscle fibers, when they contract, they pull this direction, right? This direction. And the subcostal muscles, the subcostal muscles usually jump over one or two ribs, right? And they found, remember? on the inside of the rib cage, on the posterior side, next to the coastal angles when they when they uh, turn. All right, so that is the subcostal muscles. And the next muscle group I want to talk about is the transverse thoracic muscle. And the transverse thoracic muscle are found, so I'm going to do like that. Uh, as you see here, this is the, um, the breastbone. And here you see the, the uh, ribs. And highlight for you right here. This is a transverse thoracic muscle, and they are E for expiration. So they pull your chest downwards, right? Pull chest downwards. So how do they go? They actually sit on the they originate right here on the corpus sterni, on the on the, on the um, body of the sternum, and also the ziphoid process. That's how they originate. They insert right up here and up here on the on the ribs. So when they contract, they actually go downwards like this. They also support the uh, the expiration. So that is the transverse thoracic muscle, and the next muscle I want to talk about is the uh, coastal levator muscle. And actually, in the name levator means they elevate something. So when they elevate the rib cage, they breathe in, right? So on the posterior side, the coastal levator muscles actually sit on the um, C7 on the uh, seventh rib of the cervical vertebrae, around right about here. They sit on the, they originate from the transverse process of the C7 all the way down to T11. 
right? And then insert all the ribs. And how do they go? If we zoom in, you'll see that you'll see two muscles, one that jumps over one rib, and one that goes just on the closest uh, transverse process. So the long one is the coastal levator muscle, the long coastal levator uh, muscle, and the short one is the short, short coastal levator muscle, or or um, coastal levator brevis, if you want to speak in Latin. So as I said, they originate from the the uh, vertebrae, the transverse process of the upper vertebrae, and in search at the ribs. Right. So when these muscle fibers contract, they pull, they pull the rib cage up. They support inspiration. And remember, it's really important that the long coastal levator muscles jump over one rib, and the short coastal levator muscles uh, just sits on the closest transverse process. All right. So now if you go over to the thoracic and dorsal fascia, so you have the fascia pectoralis and fascia endothoracica, which is going to be a part of the thoracic fascia on the anterior side. And then you have the fascia turaculumbaris on the posterior side, that's at the dorsal fascia. They also, they also branch out on the anterior side, so the fascia turaculumbaris is a part of the thoracic and dorsal fascia. That's the three fascias I want to talk about in the program. But first, what is a fascia? Fascia is about its connective tissue covering muscle groups. They cover muscle groups and actually on the inside, each muscle has different uh, bundles of muscles, uh, muscle groups inside. They, they, uh, they are kind of support the muscles to reduce friction when they, when they uh, contract and, and just to protect it you know, general, generally. Also go around the organs and the entire body. So now if we go over to another program, we'll, I'll try to draw the different fascias for you. Now the first fascia I want to talk about is the fascia pectoralis. And fascia pectoralis is actually in the name and it is found above the pectoral uh, muscle. So it goes around like that. Actually, let's, let's, let's make it black. Call it nice, it's easiest to see that. So fascia pectoralis goes around here. Back. This is fascia pectoralis, and the fascia fuses with delta fascia and the clavicula and sternum and down with the fascia around the abdominal region. And the next fascia I want to talk about. Let's go ahead and make this blue. Uh, the next fascia I want to talk about is actually found uh, underneath the ribs. I've included a picture I can show you. Let's put it here, around here. As you see here, this is the lungs. Actually, the lungs are not shown in this picture. You have something called pleura, which protects the lungs. And this is right underneath the rib cage. So, um, so as you see, right underneath the ribs, you have these striated lines here. That's going to be the uh, fascia uh, endothoracica. Like that, and then this nothing in the middle because here you see the uh, the mediastinum where the heart is all right so it's found underneath the ribcage as you see here all right so that is the two uh, fascias and the next fascia is fascia thoracolumbaris so so fascia thoracolumbaris is on the posterior side and this muscle, let's go ahead and make that black. This I've removed the musculus uh, trapezius, so you can see it easily. This this fascia goes like that, down here, like this, and this fascia branches out on the inside, like that. And if we go ahead and cut this fascia right about here, I'll try to draw the cross line for you guys. So you have a vertebrae, right? So this is, a, this is the body of the vertebrae, and then you have the, um, the uh, transverse process and the spinous process, and then you have the, uh, the arch. So now let's make the fascia, let's make, go ahead and make the fascia blue. So the fascia starts about here at the uh, transverse process, and then goes and starts at the 
um, transfers process goes like this and inserts and transfers process again and back here and then up like this and then down so this highlight in blue this is called fascia thoracolum bias thoracolum bias all right and it's highlighted in blue remember that and, and this muscle the, this fascia sorry this fascia covers a few muscles uh, so the first right here covers the erector muscles, which is going to be the uh, longissimus, musculus longissimus, all the longissimus muscles, covers the muscles that are closest to the vertebrae, and it covers the uh, iliocostalis, musculus iliocostalis. All right. And up here, it covers one muscle that's going to be the quadratus uh, lumbaris, musculus quadratus lumbaris. Lumbaris. And it also covers the psoas major. Psoas major, if you remember that muscle. Major. All right, so that's the envelope. It, it, it makes an envelope around them, protects them. And uh, up here, this is the anterior view, remember that. That's the body and the body of the vertebrae on the anterior side. And here you'll find three muscles that wraps around your abdominal uh, region. That's going to be the first one, it's the most inner one. It's going to be the rectus abdominalis, musculus rectus abdominalis, rectus abdominalis. And you also have two muscles. You have the um, the internal oblique muscle and the internal oblique muscle, and also the uh, external oblique muscle. Oblique muscle. <laughs> Making that. And right here, you have two muscles, as you see here. The first one is the uh, musculus uh, latissimus. Write it like that. This is the musculus latissimus. Remember, it sits on the fascia thoracolum body. So this is the uh, latissimus. This, and underneath the musculus latissimus, you will find a muscle that covers your your um, lower part of your ribs. That's going to be the serratus posterior inferior. So, so uh, just posterior, inferior. So that is the fascia thoracolumbaris. And I hope that was helpful.